in college, I had a motorcycle, right? It was a 1978 Honda that I bought for $700 that barely worked. It was like a piece of crap. And I wore, I wore the nerdiest gear you could. I had a black Kevlar jacket and a black, uh, uh, heavy helmet and like I didn't like ride around in a t-shirt and jeans like some cool guy I wore full body armor every time I rode it even if I was only going 10 minutes I looked like an absolute dweeb on that bike and in my car too it's a little blue sports car that like 20 year olds are supposed to drive you wear full black Kevlar in your car no but I wear flat oh. and <laughs> hats and I drive around with sunglasses on and the sunroof open with my NPR podcasts playing on the stereo I understand that anyone else who sees me driving it looks and is like look at that sad fat guy driving that stupid japanese sports car but when i'm driving my subaru i feel like i'm driving a formula one car i don't give a shit what anyone else thinks about how i look because i know i look like a moron and when i pull up and i drop james off at elementary school <laughs> in my car that rumbles like like i like i didn't even do anything to the muffler but it's just a loud car right like it's that kind of car where i pull up and it's all <laughs> and everyone around you is kind of like Oh, Jesus. Please get hydraulics and heavy bass. When you pull up, <laughs> you have NPR like bass. Yeah. <laughs> but when I drive it, I feel cool. It makes me feel the way that I want to feel. And when I put the paint match fenders on that I spent $1,200 on, for a part on my car that was not broken, it was perfectly fine. It's just a different color than the part that came on the car. And there are people online in, in the community who are like, oh, that's a waste of money. It's stupid. It looks worse. I don't care. I did it because I think it looks better that way. And it makes me feel even cooler in my own head when I drive it. I put a carbon fiber knob on the stick shift, even though that doesn't mean anything and barely makes sense, because why does that need to be carbon fiber? And actually, it's a lighter weight knob, which is not what you want. You want a heavier knob, because that makes the shifting smoother. I like the way it looks, and it feels <laughs> cool, because it means I get to touch carbon fiber when I drive my car. I understand that it's slow. I understand that it's bumpy and it's not comfortable. It's both slow and uncomfortable and pointless but it makes me feel cool god damn it that's why i got the car it's not even an expensive car like it's it's a forty thousand dollar car which is a very expensive car if you're trying to buy one that's just like a a to b like you could get a super cheap car that's perfectly good but uh, it's not like it's a hundred thousand dollar car or a two hundred thousand it's a forty thousand dollar affordable compact japanese car that is known for being unreliable and blowing up engines after 20,000 miles. Is it a 3,000 GT? I got it because it makes me feel cool. No, it's a Subaru <laughs> WRX. They're notorious for, the boxer engine is notorious for basically being an unreliable piece of shit a lot of the times. I think it's because people don't take care of them and change the oil. But like, if you guys ever see me in my car, tell me if you think it makes me look bad because I think it makes me look like an absolute moron. <laughs> but that's not why I got it. And I don't care because I like the way it feels when I'm driving it.